Mm. Uh, there was another, uh, there was a corporal, there was, and I don't even remember the name of that sergeant, uh, but the sergeant that preceded him was a Sergeant Barnes, a great big guy from North Carolina or someplace. And then there was a, a corporal, and I've forgotten his name. But one day I was sitting in the supply room, and uh, the corporal uh, came over and he says, Lieutenant Harry says, I don't understand you. And I said, what's the problem? And he says, he says, you don't seem to be all uptight like all these other lieutenants that have been around here. And I said, well, what am I supposed to be doing? <laughs> and he said, uh, I don't know. I, he says, the way I got it figured, you either, uh, you either really know what you're doing or you don't give it. And I said, well, I think I know what I'm doing. I think I've got a good corporal here that knows what he's doing. And I've got a Sergeant Barnes that knows what he's doing. And what do you want me to do? Mess with what you guys are supposed to be doing? I said, I don't think so. <laughs> I said, I'm the lieutenant. You guys have got your jobs. I got my job. We'll take care of it. He says, that's great. <laughs> lieutenant, he says, I salute you. <laughs> cool. And, uh, so I went on my way, and uh, I think that day we were counting sheets <laughs> oh, geez. and mattresses, because yeah. uh, we had a enough area to house either one guy or uh, 2,500 guys. Mm -hmm. uh, 